Hi, this is Rocco, and this is a new video. I'm making this new video after all these months because um, there's been um, a lot of things happening uh, in the uh, spiritual world, and I wanted to make sure that um, many things of the past would come back so that the prophecy uh, would be recognized uh, as such, meaning uh, something written that um, is written according to um, clairvoyancy rather than fiction only. And although it can retain, uh, in quotes, the quality of fiction, in the way it's written, for its style, for the way it sounds, and so on, then at the same time, um, it's true. So Odin, uh, in the uh, ouvrage, French for um, work, um, called Edda, E-D-D-A, that you can find online in either um, poesy or um, prose and truly um, that book uh, contains an event that was also depicted in a movie of the series of um, started with the movie Thor that's got the um, uh, American actor well, I'm not sure about his descent, if it's Jewish, British, or Scandinavian, but um, works in Hollywood, so I'll say American. Uh, actor that um, played in the movie uh, Thor, and then um, Loki was one of the gods that was portrayed by a different actor in that same movie. Coming to the movie that was released uh, months ago, maybe a year ago, here I think it was six or seven months ago uh, in Italy, called uh, Ragnarok, which is like uh, Friedrich Nietzsche's uh, The Twilight of the Gods uh, book that comes before in his chronology um, before thus spoke Zarathustra. Zarathustra is um, similar to uh, a um, Bodhisattva, uh, so not far from being a reawakened man, um, kind of like a Brahma, Brahmi in the Hindu religion. So we're talking about a wise man or guy. So we might not be speaking of a god necessarily or a philosopher like Buddha was both a uh, saint and that um, and uh, certainly the image of Buddha prevails in uh, India these days and um, in the East parts of the world for his um, message that um, if you want to verify it, um, talking to the stars or Buddha would speak to um, nature spirits and so on. If you want to verify uh, the veridicity of what his message is, his message isn't being controversial with no end, but um, besides that, it's to um, elevate the awareness of people without um, being the bad guy. So Buddha um, can be adapted um, in theory uh, to both Christianity and um, black magic so it could be good for both uh, paganism and um, the monotheistic religions um, is been very misunderstood or not studied enough so um, he would not place much emphasis on the way that he ate although he was vegetarian 
like during virtue Christ wasn't but um because Mary and whatnot they would um, in his family that descends from uh, David in the sense of um, not biologically but <clears throat> as the idea of King David uh, um, is the idea of what was the religion of uh, what's become Judas the traitor meaning um, the Jewish religion so um, that um, came with a lot of rabbis study it, uh, Kabbalah. And Kabbalah is a system of magic that can be, uh, both, say in quotes, uh, good or bad. Uh, good because uh, Kabbalah can be taken as the Sephiroth tree and um, reversed um, the Klippoth. Now everything, um, although it's like the hieroglyphics in um, Egypt, um, it's not easy to read. Uh, a bit more divine, perhaps, than the Egyptian religion. That, however, um, solid uh, wasn't built on a solid ground. That is um, the sky. Um, so, um, Kabbalah, um, uh, means that, um, everything besides, uh, Jesus, meaning, uh, improv, that's associated to your heart and life. So, besides, um, anything that you want to add, because it's part of life, uh, and uh, and, it, and it's a further creation and there's Christian Kabbalah too uh, the Arabs never really um, were associated to Kabbalah although originally uh, but they can certainly practice it if um, the divine law um, allows them <clears throat> my torment is that uh, Kabbalah um, was never understood fully as the key that it is because Kabbalah isn't only um, wisdom because that's one part of God and uh, Kabbalah is uh, more in-depth uh, a way to get to know you that was given from the Anunnaki the seraphim or serpent gods or angels that um, angels can be meant also generally that um, came down onto earth from Nibiru the planet of the gods that was the original planet everyone is trying to find out um, this was the original planet where all life came to be thanks to as we know thanks to the religion or philosophy or God knows what of spiritual Satanism uh, everything was created by uh, Father Satan, whose first name was Sole or Son. Not the English tabloid, but um, not even the planet really, but uh, the energy of Sol. Same name, but um, spelled slightly differently, is found in the Norse religion Sol, S O L. And with the line on the O, meaning that it's more closed the way uh, it's pronounced. So, um, the cult of the sun is very present in the Hindu religion. That is um, an extremely um, satisfying religion and very um, extremely spiritual is the religion and very deep. It, it's the label that I could put on the people of Arian. <clears throat> but in truth, um, they recognized the existence of, not well explained what that was, um, God. Uh, not necessarily um, Jehovah, but um, like the Freemasons say, um, the source or 
originating principle. In this case, I've found in my studies that, um, and I can prove, uh, and anyone can if you use the divine names like um, Tetragrammaton or um, even Jesus' name, uh, Yeshua, Michael, or Elohim, El meaning El, and all these names that um, are part of God. And um, by calling on these names with your cards and anything that you like, <clears throat> you can be given any answer that's um, allowed for your soul to receive at this level. So if the name or, or entity or even, say, Archangel Gabriel uh, commanded under that divine name anything that comes out if it comes out it's true if you're using the name of god so by the name of lucifer this this and that not necessarily all the truth but um if you uh use only names of god or angels then uh, certainly you will know that um in another dimension soul uranium that it's now um, science fiction books here in Italy and uh, Luna Luna who could be the Roman goddess Luna uh, are some of the even more ancient than um, what's put out in the acceptable let's say in website um, she says um, Azazel, uh, Satan meaning Lucifer, the adversary, and uh, Beelzebub and uh, Estroth. These gods are certainly uh, okay and they're very ancient, especially Estroth in Nibiru. She was part of the, um, I'm speaking from an angel's perspective. Uh, I call on angels regarding this, these mysteries. And um, the goddess Astaroth was part of the circle of nine, meaning she used to be one of the um, best and most powerful archangels. A lot of angels, um, call it what you will, can be found uh, in every hall of life. An angel can be a person that's kind to you. First, an angel isn't. Uh, usually, um, like a young son who died and therefore went to heaven because he died young and stuff like that it's more part of the italian and sometimes foreign uh, rhetoric that wants to diminish the power of the divine uh, by sacrificing someone jesus tried to do it um diminish uh humankind through sacrifice but in the end he didn't prevail for what my understanding is um, and this can be again verified by names rituals and even your feelings um, during the Ragnarok that's uh, right behind us and of which I was leading part as the um, Hazel Angel and um, or Blue Angel, or Slayer, or if you will, Angel Seminatore in Italian. Um, a lot of things were carried out because, um, like Turing Virtue says in the realms of the Earth Angels, uh, and this is very important information you all need to know. Uh, with the fall of Lucifer, um, came um, down a third of the stars of heaven, the angels. Two thirds uh, did not follow him openly, and they stayed um, in the heavens. But um, there actually wasn't um, the uh, legitimate um, quorum to declare heaven such because it had to be like Jehovah had originally promised and uh, even without say um, she was an angel the goddess Furfur who was an angel of love 
um, and uh, <clears throat> she was the third most beautiful angel after uh, Lucifer and Haniel. So uh, even without an angel, then uh, the sky isn't the sky. And um, when Jehovah had the angels swear um, that they would um, X Y word, um, man, uh, Lucifer got confused, and therefore he left. And then there were people who, uh, following an angel called Israel, went down on earth, and um, Israel uh, promised a saviorship for a number of them, perhaps. And um, not only there were angels, and Israel is uh, the angel with the scat wings, this myth. That's not only uh, Lucifer aesthetics, because his wings were never scabbed or torn, they were just set of flame. <clears throat> and other angels too. Mm. So the people who followed the angel with the scat wings, that's now even a planet, um, they were also earth angels and whatnot. They perhaps were mermaids or fairies, gnomes, and other spirits of both heaven and earth who decided that uh, certainly like Lucifer thought, Jehovah wasn't, uh, Jehovah wasn't a plus. But uh, it wasn't a good idea to decide to follow the concept of not serving mankind because any angel or fairy is originated upon that concept. So in theory, uh, it would be against not only divine law, but what's worse, universal law, what Lucifer did. But apparently, it seems like he had no choice and certainly Jehovah um, tricked these people beings that um, he selected um, some of the most valuable ones and um, to go down with them etc so um, all this has happened during these months and all this time that we've been apart and I hope you're following in with my blogs uh, spiritual Satanism I research and speak of all religions uh, I am one of the souls and spirits coming from the planet of Nibiru, like all of you, except on about a 20% of human or divine souls who were created by Jehovah later. And then he isn't the original God, but he was given this um, task, um, this mandate, if you will, to carry forth. Um, the assignment of being um, not the most high because Adonai is one of the names of Israel the angel but because every angel has got divine names but um, although in a certain way he's way up there but um, Jehovah has other names that belong to Jehovah and um, I want to bring you my um, Greetings, and to know who I am, please um, use a white candle and um, the name Tetragrammaton, and uh, perhaps you'll find out more about me. And if you want, with another ritual by yourself. So I'm happy that you came. I hope you're staying in the light, and I hope that um, you know how to treat yourself well in these times so I want to leave you with a positive quote from Plato who um, interpreting said um, there isn't only one source of light so there you go when the Sun is defeated and by the name Sun you can also mean Christ if you will um, then there's other suns like we're discovering what what is happening in the world and there's a lot of the moon shining so um, that's certainly invigorating for some for others it isn't so uh, Shakespeare's novel the Hamlet really finds his way and thank you